Hi, I'm Sarah, and this is my first YouTube video that I'm going to make for my channel. And this video is going to be an intro just to show you guys who I am and what I like to do. And it's also going to be my bookshelf tour so you can see what type of books I like to read. Um, it's mainly YA, fiction, um, teen drama, teen angst, teen romance, teen everything like that, plus a few more, so it's not completely limited to that, but it has a lot of that in there. I'm going to be a booktuber, I think that's what they call it, um, so expect a lot of book reviews from me, just discussions, and I'll talk about movies sometimes, music, anything in the entertainment industry, um, but mainly books. So. That's me, that's who I am, and I guess I'm going to start on the book tour now, book shelf tour. So, here we go. Okay, so this is this is my bookshelf, and yeah, it's not very big. It has only three shelves. The first shelf is taken by my movies. They're all my movies. And so the second shelf and the third shelf are all my books. And so that's what we're going to be looking at today. And um, over here are the books that I'm going to be reading this summer. So it's kind of like a preview of what you'll see me talking about. Um, and over here I got out my other books that are from under my bed. Um, I don't really look at these much, but we'll still discuss them. Okay, so let the tour begin. First I have 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. It's a very deep book. It talks about suicide and the reasons why a person would do that. Um, very emotional. Um, if you're into that sort of stuff, I would highly recommend it. I'm not really into that stuff, and I enjoyed it. So, it's a good read. Next, I have a very popular classic, and it is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Um, good book. I didn't read that much of it because I mean, I've seen the movies and kind of know what happens already, so I'm not sure if I'm going to finish it, but um, it was good for when I was reading it. <laughs> um, but it's a classic, so of course it's good. Alright, next I have my Gallagher Girl series by Ali Carter. These are the first four. I own the fifth one. It's just in my To Be Read pile, so we'll look at that later. Um, so this is our first series, the Gallagher Girl series, and this one is this series is about spies. And so her next series, which is the High Society series, these, this series is about um, thieves. So the first book is High Society, and the next one is Uncommon Criminals. These are all written by Allie Carter. Next, I have Kissed by an Angel, and that is written by Elizabeth Chandler. And it is a mashup of all three of her books, Kissed by an Angel, The Power of Love, and Soulmates. Um, I read this a while ago, but I still I remember that I really liked it. Um, this is not the only book that I have by her. I have another one by her in my to-be-read pile, and we'll get to that later. Next, we have the Hunger Games trilogy. Yay! Very famous, very popular series. I adored this series, um, Katniss and Everybody. Um, as you can see, I have two copies of the first book. Um, this one's paperback, and I got the hardback cover. Just for keeps, so it doesn't get hurt or damaged or ruined. Yeah, because I love the series. I love the series. Very good. Okay, next I have my Sarah Dessen collection. And the ones that I own would be Someone Like You, Keeping the Moon, The Truth About Forever, Just Listen, Lock and Key, and I also have Along for the Ride, but it's downstairs in my mom's bookshelf. She's borrowing it. Um, the ones that I don't have would be, I believe, That Summer, Dreamland, and this lullaby, and also her newest one. My two favorites of hers are Keeping the Moon and The Truth About Forever. Those are very good. Highly recommended. Okay, so next I have a classic again, and it is A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. You can see I completely marked this one up because it was my school book. Um, I really liked it for a school book. It was really good, um, but if you're planning to read this, just be patient because Dickens was as we all know, paid by the word, so it can get kind of wordy. Alright, so next I have Chicken Boy by Frances O'Rourke Dowell. Okay, so next I have Hilary Duff, her first book, which is called Elixir. 
Um, I love this cover and that's kind of what makes me sad because the second book came out and it's called Devoted and the cover style changed and it's a face. It's, not, it's a girl's face. It's not a flower anymore. Um, which means that whenever I do get it, it's going to be mix matched and I don't like that. But um, I, I am planning on getting that soon because it's a really good story. Okay, next I have a very, very unpopular series, but I like it. I mean, it's not unpopular, it's just not known. Um, and it's called The Chalet Girls, and the first one is Balancing Axe, then I have Slippery Slopes, Off the Trails, um, and they are all written by Emily Franklin. Um, very good series if you're wanting to read something about girls who work in a snow chalet in Europe. It's really cool. Next I have Helen Keller. It's like a biography um, really interested in like the deaf community and sign language and stuff like that so that's why I'm planning on reading that. I got through like the first part. Don't exactly know where I stopped but I'm going to read that. Um, next I have The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton. Um, another school book. I really liked it so I added it to my library. Um, next I have Into the Wild by John Crocker. It was for school. Um, but I really enjoyed it. It's a, it's a lot of action, and it's a really good story. Next I have Every Soul a Star, and I know it's about three different characters, they're shown here on the back, and how, like, an, a solar eclipse affects them all. Um, I need to reread this again because it looks like it would be really good, but I just can't remember. Okay, next we have the very famous, very beloved Twilight Saga by Stephanie Meyer. I have the whole, th I have the box set, and then I also have the short Second Life of Brie Tanner. Um, I really liked the Brie Tanner novel, that novella. That was really good. Next, I have Stephanie Meyer's other novel, The Host, and oh, I'm so excited. The movie is coming out March 2013, and I'm so excited because it has Saoirse Ronan in it, and Max Irons, and I'm just really excited. Um, really good book. I recommend it to anybody who likes romance and science fiction. Okay, so next I have a school book, and it is called Anthem by Ayn Rand. Um, it's kind of like one of the earlier dystopian novels. Um, it was really interesting. I really enjoyed it um, for a school book. Um, so, educational and all that. Next I have the one, the only, Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare. Um, it's a small copy, um, which I like. It's not part of like a big textbook or anything, so it makes it less intimidating to read, because um, it's really not that long of a play. Um, so next I have A Series of Unfortunate Events by Lemony Snicket, and it is my favorite child series ever. It is awesome. Let me go through the titles real quick. The Bad Beginning, The Reptile Room, The Wide Window, The Miserable Mill, the Austere Academy, The Ersatz Elevator, The Vile Village, The Hostile Hospital, The Carnivorous Carnival, The Slippery Slope, The Grim Grotto, The Penultimate Peril, and The End. And I also have the Unauthorized Autobiography. Okay, so next I have the Wolves of Mercy Falls series. I consider this book to be amazing, and this book to be... eh. <laughs> it was... eh. I, I was really disappointed by Linger. Um, after reading Shiver, it's such a wonderful book. Let me look at that cover. It's gorgeous, and the story is amazing, and Sam and Grace and everybody. It's just all awesome. But whenever I started to read Linger, I just couldn't get into it, and I don't know what happened. I guess it's suffering from the second book curse. <laughs> so I, I think I want to one, one day read it again, reread re Linger to see if I actually hated it as much as I thought I did. Um, and then um, hopefully I can get into it and then I'll be ready to read Forever, which is the third book that I don't have. Um, hopefully that works out if I reread it. Next I have the Boxcar Children series, um, but a very small part of the series as you can see. It's just the first three um, by Gertrude Warner. Um, very good for kids. I recommend it. Next I have like kind of a sad part of my library. Um, it have, I have Night by Ellie Wiesel um, and Anne Frank, Diary, Young, uh, Diary of a Young Girl, excuse me, and Anne Frank Remembered by Meet Geese, um, all about the Holocaust. Um, I really liked learning about that. Next I have the 100th anniversary collection of The Wizard of Oz at the very end. 
This book is one that I was supposed to read in 8th grade or 7th grade and I didn't read it for history class. It's called My Brother Sam is Dead by James and Christopher Collier um, about the American Revolution. So I wouldn't want to read about that. I need to read it. It's not that long. I could read it. Um, next I have Julius Caesar by William Shakespeare. Next I have The Lord of the Flies by William Golding. Enough said. Next I have A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Lingo. And I only read, I think, the first three chapters because I just wasn't into it. It was a school book, but I didn't finish it. Bad Sarah, but oh well. Next I have The Glass Menagerie, but written by Tennessee Williams. This is a play, if you don't know this already. So, yeah. Kind of boring, but it has a cool cover. Um, I have Sophocles Antigone and really short, very small, very small book. Now I have the books that you will see later. I have Dark Secrets 1, written by Elizabeth Chandler. Next I have The Night Circus, and this is a standalone novel by Erin Morgenstern. The cover is so pretty, and even the inside, the inside is amazing. I mean, it's very magical, which it should be if you know the plot line. <laughs> um, Next I have the fifth Gallagher Girl series book, Out of Sight, Out of Time, by Allie Carter. Um, I really want to read this because it's part of one of my favorite series, so we'll get to that. Okay, next I have this book, and it's called A Countess Below Stairs, and it's written by Eva Ibotson, and my cousin gave this to me. She really enjoyed it, so we'll see how I like that. Next I have a historical fiction novel, and... I enjoy reading these in school, so that's why I thought I would enjoy reading this one. Um, it's written by Jennifer Donnelly, and it is about a modern-day girl who finds the diary of an 18th of a 19th century girl, excuse me, and she's living through the French Revolution, and it's just about her experience with the diary and finding it and how they all relate and everything. So I really, really hope I like this. I hope I like it a lot, but we'll see. All right. Um, okay, we're almost done. Lament by Maggie Stiefvater. Uh, This is a really weird cover. I really, I don't like the cover. Um, the normal cover for Lament is like a sword and clovers and everything. Um, it's a book about fairies. Um, not sure if I'm going to like this, but since I liked Shiver, at least, of her Mercy Falls book, um, I thought I'd give this a shot. Okay. And the very last book that I'm reading right now, I'm reading this currently, and it is 1984 by George Orwell. This is like a school book that I'm reading over the summer, my summer reading list. I'm not that far into it, um, but I'm planning to read a lot tonight. So, yeah. It's, it's another dystopian, so I think it'll be good. Okay, well, that's my book library collection. I hope you enjoyed it, and um, like I said earlier, the next video should be a book review about Uncommon Criminals by Allie Carter. This one. Yeah. So expect that in the future. Um, so, thank you. Hope you enjoyed this, and I hope this video isn't too long for you guys. I'm sorry if it is. So I'm going to go now. Okay, bye!